Here we are today at Road Race Motorsports. We're going to uh, show you how to put a uh, piggyback ECU on a 2011 Suzuki Kazashi. Um, this video is going to be the same for 2010 or 2011. Um, here we're going to show you what we have as far as tools. Um, first off, we have a wire crimper, um, a pliers, and then a side cutters. Uh, we use a smaller size side cutters, it's easier to get in places. Uh, basically what's going to come with the piggyback, you're going to get the piggyback itself, which is pre-programmed. Uh, for all you guys who get the CDs, um, that's just a courtesy in case you want to tune on it, but they are pre-tuned, ready to install in the car. All of our piggybacks come that way. Um, also in the piggyback uh, box you're going to receive um, these connectors. These are the three red connectors that are going to go over the wire to make the connection and then the flathead connectors which are going to uh, hook up power or tax signal or whatever we're doing. Uh, you're also going to receive uh, two butt connectors and installation instructions. Uh, we're going to show you now a step by step on how to install this um, starting with uh, disconnection of the battery. I'm going to turn this over to Nate and he's going to um, show you guys how to do it. Alright so first step is going to be to go ahead and remove the negative terminal on the battery. You don't want to cause any kind of shorts or anything to fry the ECU, so go ahead and hit that disconnected. Once you're done with that, then you're going to go ahead and remove these clips here. Some of you guys have been having a little bit of trouble. You're just going to push, there's going to be a little gray clip on this back side here. You're going to go ahead and push it in and then pull this back and it'll just pull itself out as you're pulling the black clip back. And just go ahead and do that to both while you're at it. Now if you read in the instructions here, it's going to say to connect the red wire to the black red wire on EC1. That's going to be the bottom connector, so go ahead and just get this guy out of the way if you can. Just tuck it down somewhere so it's not in your way. And go ahead and get this guy pulled up. I'm going to go ahead and clip a little bit of this back here so I can get a little farther back on the wires. Not too much though. That way you can re-electrical tape it later. So pin one is going to go ahead and be this, this top one here. It's going to be the black and red wire here. Go ahead and get your uh, red connector here. And if you guys have any questions about the connectors, just go and see our other video on how to use these connectors. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to see in this video. Now that that's on there, go ahead and grab your piggyback and get your red wire. Insulation, they're already pre-cut, so just leave that. You're not going to need to cut anything for the butt section. It's just gear and go ahead and make sure it's fully seated at the very bottom. And go ahead and crimp it. I use the blue settings, so you make sure that you don't over crimp it or under crimp it. Just wiggle it, make sure that it's not going to come undone or anything. And then go ahead and set that off to the side. It's a little bit easier if you're not working with it in your way. And then the next one's going to be the black wire, and that's going to be on CO1 if you read here. CO1 is going to be the top connector, so go ahead and get that guy pulled back up and get the other one out of your way. And that's going to be on pin 28, which is going to be right here, and that's going to be your gray and black wire. Go ahead and get that guy pulled up. I also pre-cut the electrical tape on the back and peeled this back a little bit to so make it a little bit easier. Go ahead and grab your red connector again and go ahead and get that guy on there. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and connect the yellow black, or you're gonna actually, I'm sorry, you're going to get the black wire on the ECU here and go ahead and get your peach colored connector on there as well. And then again remove that out of your way so it's not in your way. Next one is going to be you're going to look for the yellow black wire, which is going to be on your harness here. And it's going to go to your, I believe it is a pin 28 on C01. So again, you're going to follow the instructions to find the pin. 
18, I'm sorry. 18. Just going to be a third wire over on the second row. One, two, three. And that's going to go ahead and be a green wire with a white tracer stripe on it. And go ahead and connect your red connector onto that as well. All right, so as Nate just demonstrated, uh, the first three steps are, uh, are going to be um, you're going to basically tee under the wires. You're not going to cut any wires. Up to this point, we have not cut any wires on the factory harness. Um, the first three steps, we're just intercepting um, three different wires, basically power, ground, and uh, tack signal wires. So those three are you know, ready to go onto the vehicle. Um, this last step is a bit tricky. Some of you guys get confused. Uh, basically, what we're going to do on the next step is intercept um, the signal from the stock ECU. Um, if you look here, there's a yellow and green wire. Yeah, excuse me, yellow and green, they're separate. And then a yellow wire with a green tracer. This yellow wire with the green tracer, we don't use it. So you're going to put that to the side, trim it, um, tuck it out of the way so it's not a little bit on both sides of the wire. This is the part where some people get confused. Um, Nate's going to strip it real quick, then I'm going to demonstrate the, the confusing part. So now if you can see here, um, we have two sides of this wire. Um, on the ECU instructions, it's going to state, uh, if you read it, connect violet to the side leading to the ECU and the green and yellow leading to the MAF sensor. What we mean by that is when you cut this wire, you have two separate wires now. This would be the wire leading into the ECU. This would be the wire leading to the sensor itself. So we're going to intercept this signal. So again, not to get confused, this wire is to the ECU, this wire is to the sensor. Nate's going to show you how to hook the uh, Basically, we just need to plug in one more flat, um, flat ECU connector, and then we're going to plug everything in right now. So here's Nate, uh, violet side of the piggyback wire going into the ECU, crimping it, making sure that everything's, you know, making a solid connection. And then our next step is going to be the these two wires, yellow and green. Put it on top of the fuse box, um, but you can put it wherever you want. You can hide it. We give you enough wire to run it in the car if you want. Um, so you can pretty much place it anywhere. Nate's going to go ahead and uh, hook the battery back up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fire this car up right now. Um, sometimes they will idle high when you first start it. Um, start the car, let it idle for about 10 minutes and then um, go on your test drive. Make sure um, the piggyback is secure. We haven't secured the piggyback yet, but we will before we take it on that drive. Uh, wa watch our next video. We're gonna go out and um, get some driving impressions on this car. Uh, thanks for watching and check out our website.